President Bush arrived in Manila amid high security concerns about potential terrorist activity. It was the second stop in a six-nation tour of Asia and Australasia that Bush hopes will gain military and financial support for the U.S. occupation of Iraq. During a whirlwind visit, Bush held talks with the Philippines president, addressed Congress, and attended a state dinner. He praised Arroyo's stance against terror and said the Abu Sayyaf extremist group posed a dangerous threat. But the president's visit was marred by protests. His speech before Congress was delayed nearly an hour because of concerns about large crowds, both supporters and protesters, along his motorcade route. About 3,000 demonstrators marched to the House of Representatives where Bush was scheduled to speak. The crowd burned U.S. flags at an effigy of the U.S. leader. The demonstrators were cordoned off by security forces who effectively blocked Bush's view of the protest as the motorcade passed. Well, we don't want him in the Philippines and we don't want this type of war. Seven legislators left the hall at the start of Bush's speech after plans for a larger walkout fizzled. The president gave no indication that he'd noticed them or the demonstrators. Eight hours later, he was on his way, flying to Thailand, where he's scheduled to attend an APEC summit in Bangkok.